In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a TM2 style with MapBook Studio Classic. So a raster tile style, but from vector tiles. And for this demonstration, we're going to port the MapBook Studio Pencil style to the Open Map Tiles Vector Tile Schema. So we are going to clone this repository. And now we're going to open it in MapBox Studio. So let's select a pencil style. And I advise you to look at the Open Map Tiles Vector Tile Schema to check out all the layers, the fields, and their values. I will port it over by heart now. Now the pencil style is a style that's very easy to be ported because it doesn't have any labels. But it is very suitable because of these textures. It's not something you can easily replicate with vector tiles. And I guess this is wrong what we're seeing here. And the first thing we're going to do is change the vector tile source to open map tiles and you can add any tile JSON endpoint here. So let's add the public CD and save. And we lose some layers because they have different names. That's completely normal. And now we're going to slowly change this to port it over. We're going to start with the roads. In open map tiles, there is no, all features are in the transportation layer. So we need to change first the layer selectors. Let's change the casing and the fill. And there are no turning circles in the vector tiles, so we can remove this already. Let's save this. Class modulator should already match something. Yeah, we get something. But the classes are different. So to style links, we have to query motorway, but say we want motorways with a ramp, which are the motorway links. Where else do we have that? We have that here. And here. All right. Next thing is the the main class this is about the openstreetmap trunk primary secondary and tertiary classes so tertiary secondary primary let's replace those Save it. We have an error on line 30. Yeah, we need to come us because we want to match all of them. So it would have been better if I have done this before. Let's copy this again and replace it for the casing. And the fill. Right, it already looks much better, but still there is no street class in open map tiles, so we have to port this over. There is a minor class for minor roads. What else do we have? So in classes we also have minor roads and service and tracks. So there is no street limit and we can probably leave that out because service is explicitly targeted. So minor roads, which are usually residential roads, there are also rails. So if we go, there is a rail class and we want to show less important rails. And these are rails that have a service value. So they are meant not for main operation. 
that's how we can emulate this class. So same here, remove the limited. And soon we should have ported over all the roads. Nice, that was it for the roads. Already looks much, much better. Let's check the buildings. Yeah, we already have the buildings. Because they're named the same. The water should work as well. Let's port over country and administrative boundaries. This layer is called boundary in open map tiles. So we probably just need to change the layer name. And there are no maritime borders in open map tiles. So let's remove this. There are also no disputed borders in open map tiles yet. So let's remove all of this and save again. Yeah, that looks much better. So we have ported over the boundaries, the buildings are working. Then for airways, we probably just need to port the runway. And taxiway supported as well, so this should work. All right, for parks, there is a separate layer called park. So, and because we want to query both of those, we can say all park and land use class cemetery and all parks. And what we also probably want later on is some style for wood and grass. Let's save this and then we should see some parks. Yes, here we have the parks, but let's also sh choose uh, show some wood. So we want to query the land cover layer and want to say class equals wood. And we probably want the same here. Shade medium is good, but a bit less opacity. And I actually, so these are the parks. Let's zoom in some more. Where are the wooden areas? We can check here. So this is, some, is the land cover layer with land wood. Let's make it a bit darker to actually see it. Here we go, yeah. Yeah, that looks about right. And that's it. We have successfully ported over the pencil style, which is very texture heavy and not something you can easily replicate. And I really like this style. And now you can use your existing tile mill tools.